Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the Sense of Pop channel for another deck profile video, Halloween edition. Halloween party is pretty much out of the question this year because we are not doing a really good job containing the COVID virus in Munich. We just went up to red and uh, so no party outside, no party indoors. I believe that the restriction went up. And uh, But however, I bought this costume just in case things uh, become better. This is not the case, but I can still use this for the deck profile video. If you don't know what I'm dressing up as, you really have to watch Stranger Things, Netflix series Stranger Things. Such a great, great series. I love it. I love the throwbacks to the 80s, to the 90s, when things were just way better. I just love the throwback to the 80s, to the 90s. And um, yeah, I'm Steve Harrington from season 2. So. So let's talk about the Starter Freezer deck, Halloween edition, what is it all about? We are going to be playing with the same concept, so Starter Deck Freezer with the Unison card, and this are our main attack where it, it is coming. However, we're going to take out the Chilai Chain and we are going to be replacing something that is even more toxic. The Starter Deck Freezer is going to be nastier, it's even be more theme, and it's going to be scarier. For your opponent, of course. Without further ado, let's see you after the short intro. <laughs> hey guys, I want to welcome you back from the intro. I know I look very silly right now with the head over the headphones. It is wobbly and I cannot move my head much because this thing is gonna drop. However, the silliness starts from the costume, so we are not complaining here, alright? So for you, it's the Halloween edition. I just want to also wear find a reason to wear this costume that older for Halloween that is not gonna be happening. 2020 sucks, I want my refund. <laughs> so, okay, so let's talk about the leader, one of my, the best leader that came out from series 10. It is Frieza, it's starter deck Frieza, so you just buy a starter deck, you get most of the cards, some, um, some of the cards that we are gonna be playing with this deck. Um, I like this leader. So the deck idea is this, that we want to use uh, Unisa card and we want to swing because Unisa cards we don't really have a lot of answers for it You cannot negate the skills of the Unisa card. You cannot counter play against Unisa card So Unisa card is gonna prop and it's gonna prop like really good. So that is why we want to play with this leader Okay, so also choose one of your freezers army card when you attack you take one of your freezers army card you pop it you put it into your drop area and then you your opponent has to discard a card and then you get to self awaken which is add one life from your add one card from your life into your hands. Four or less you get to awaken, he is an untap one, draw one card, and then BAM I'm just waiting for the um for the effect. Okay, so last resort freezer. When this card attacks, you get to draw a card. So you have a plus one and activate main. You choose. So that's the difference right now. You don't have to attack with this leader to activate his main. So his activate main is this. You, ch It's the same. One freezer army card. You put it into your drop area. Then your you choose one card from your opponents. You choose. That is so good. So you instead of your opponent chooses, you pick at random one card. Hopefully, it is going to be the card that they need take it and drop it into their drop area all right and then it gives choose one of the units a card and it gains critical for the turn a good a really good leader so we are going to be talking about the our units card of course it is going to be xeno freezer i like this card a lot and permanent if you have to lose one marker from this uh, opponent's attack you can choose to crit one of your life instead not as good as demigraph but a pretty good card his plus one is this, you get to choose one card from your hands, you discard it, and then you get to draw a card. So, the whole idea here is, uh, so this is the first one, and the second one is minus one, you get to choose one of your opponent's battle card for or less, and KO it. Really good. And then our second one, it's way better. Dark Broly, Overwhelming Evil, Double Strike, once per turn, when this card loses a marker from your opponent's skill, your opponent chooses one card from your hands and discard it and plus two. That means when you play at three costs, he comes out as a plus two. You may choose one card from your hand and discard it. If you do, your opponent has to discard it and your opponent chooses one of the battle cards and KO it. So when you play him three marker plus two, it becomes a five marker just right there. So really good. This is our, this are the two battle cards that we're going to be playing, and the uh, units of cards that we are going to be playing together with the leader's ability. Your opponent 
have to deal with either a 15k crit or a 20k double strike crit. Just like that. Zero cost. Zero cost. You could argue that says that, oh, what about the Frieza army battle card that you have to play? This is what we're going to be doing. The Doria Frieza's Devoted Server. This is an extremely cheap card, that, but the quintessential not quintessential is the essential card in the deck so if your leader card is a green battle card it's a green freezer army card and you have a green freezer army card in play so both of them ask you to discard a card if this card is placed in the drop area from your hand by a skill it doesn't have to be your opponent's skill it can be your own skill so dark broly and freezer both ask you to discard a card xeno freezer draws one but then this guy just comes back into a board. Now, why do we want to do that? Because he is a green freezer army that then you could activate your leader's ability to KO him. And the best part about him is you tap one, activate main, you can put him from your drop area back into your hands. And we are going to be doing our card drawing by playing Freezer's Army Healing Port. That means uh, when you play a green battle card from your drop area, you get to draw a card. So with Freeza Zeno, when you drop him, you draw one. And because Dodoria comes back into play from your drop area, you get to draw one from Freezer's Army Healing Port. So it's a draw two with Zeno Freeza, it's a draw one with Dark Broly. But with Dark Broly, your opponent has to discard one. So that is it. That's how you populate your your battle area with Freezer's army. And if they're gonna counterplay this, it's okay because in the end, it is still a very expensive counterplay because you are using zero resources in your hands. And then what you can do is you tap one, bring it back into your hands. Why not? All right. And then with Dark Broly overwhelming evil. So this is where the deck changes. In the past, in the previous deck profile, we talked about using Chi Lai, right? Chi Lai to beautiful. So when Dark Broly props, pop something, your opponent has to drop one. However, this time around, we're going to do something a little bit way more aggressive. So we are, uh, your opponent has to choose one of the battle cards and KO it. And then when they KO, we are going to be playing 4x Surprise Attack Freezer. So he is critical. Activate this skill. If your opponent's battle card is KO, if this card is not being played, you may play this card from your hands. So when your opponent when you KO one when your opponent KOs one of the battle card, you play Surprise Attack Freezer. Then activate your leader's ability. So your opponent has to drop one through Dark Broly. Then after that, you have Surprise Attack Freezer on the board. You activate your leader's ability to give Dark Broly crit and you, you take one card from your opponent's hands and then you drop it. Your opponent has now got to deal with a 20k double strike crit and a 15k double strike crit. And if you think that that is the end of the story, no, that is not it. This is when the surprise attack uh, Xeno Chain comes in. So you we are going to play also one star ball so you take the one star ball put it under your surprise attack freezer because your surprise attack freezer is a four cost freezer so choose one freezer card with energy cost of four in your battle area and place this card underneath it then you play play up to one green xeno freezer from your deck or hand on top of the chosen card in active mode that means you can swing with your surprise attack freezer swing with your broly so double strike 20k double strike crit 15k crit and then you place this one star ball underneath it go to your deck or your hands pick up a four star xeno and then this is the one that we're going to be playing xeno freezer dark infestation double strike you need this is the part that we want to do, right? Here we go. Um, if your leader card has... Uh, okay, activate main, the first one. If you want to swing with your double strike crit, if you want to swing with this 15k double strike, go for it. If they have a unison on board, why not swing and reduce that unison or waste that one negate from your opponent, right? But then activate main, place this card in its owner's drop area, choose up to one card from your opponent's hands, and then you discard it. So... 15k crit, 20k double strike crit, and then there's a potential that you want to swing with double strike if your opponent is down to 2 life, why not? If not, activate main immediately, Take uh, put it into your drop area, then take one of your opponent's uh, card from their hands at random and then discard it. You already discard one from Broly, you pick one from your leader ability, and then from Freeza you pick another one. And then they have to do with that 20k double strike crit and 15k double strike crit. This whole chain, zero energy, zero energy guys, zero energy. So you leave all your energies for free for possible other plays that you want to do. Zero energy. This is so disgusting that I feel so bad doing this.
I really feel so bad doing this. All right, and then if you think that's enough, no, not not exactly. That's that's all? No, not exactly. Because if your opponent has three or more energy, when this card is removed from a battle area by a skill, again, your own skill counts or KO'd. Add up to one green extra card with energy cost of one or less from your drop area to your hands. Either you want to put back your parasitic ball back into your hands or put back your dormant potential unleashed back into your hands. I am gonna cry right now because of how this deck is working. Of course, we are gonna be playing with a dormant potential unleashed. Unfortunately, this is a very expensive card. If you have it, that's good. If you don't have it, please invest in it because this is actually a really, really good card. And then you have the counterplay Xeno Freezer that is a uh, counterplay Freezer. That is something that we are gonna be playing. We are gonna be abusing the uh, the chain, right? All right, so basically that is the deck itself, right? So we are I, I show you the main chain and then uh, we are gonna be like surprise attack freezer to like a uh, dark infestation So that you get even more cards from their hands and then you know, you're gonna swing so many times I play tested this deck so much It is working so well because your Zabon fetches out every single card in your deck except uh, the extra card your dark rolly and of course your um, charismatic villain, right? But he takes out everything. I'm gonna give you a little bit more extra. One thing that I want to say is this Frieza, the power uh, madness. This card is not exactly very good. I play tested quite a couple of deck uh, games, but this deck never really comes into play. So this is two cards that maybe you want to take out from a deck and you can put in this uh, new uh, Deborah because Deborah makes sure that you get your uh, Dragon Ball. So, uh, Zabon fetches your surprise attack, Deborah, you discard it from your hands, and then you get your uh, Dark Dragon Ball into your hands. Alright, so substitute this too with Deborah if you want to. I'm still playing it because it's Zeno Freezer, I like him. And then, uh, yeah, so the rest of the deck. If you want to make it even crazier, use uh, Demigra instead of Zeno Freezer because it just served the curve better. Um, Unfortunately, it does not fetch us from uh, Zabon, but you can do it. Zabon is a really good card though. Don't cut him because uh, if your, your, your energy is going to be all open. If you swing with a Broly and your opponent does not have any negate and it's like game ending. If you have Zabon from your deck, you just, from your drop area, you can tap one and send him into the, uh, send him into warp or remove him from the game, send him into warp, I think. And Dunk really gets an extra 10k and you can repeat this process. And Demigra Unison is just really just better and then uh, substitute your uh, Zabon Super Combo with Android 18 for even more pain. So this is the end of the deck profile. I hope you like it. This is the Halloween edition. It is a short deck profile, but it's a very, very nasty one. Uh, Play tested it, it so many times, it works so well. Those guys will give me the idea and said, why don't we play Surprise Visa? Uh, thank you guys so much. I want to make a shout out to you. Um, however, I want to emphasize again that uh, Zeno, the Surprise Attack Chain was something that I played. So I played a two drop to the four drop and the four drop KO something, I Surprise Attack Freezer. Then you can two times Dark Dragon Ball. So because you can pop, bring that Dark Dragon Ball back into your hands and then go for Surprise Attack Freezer again. So this was something that I've been doing when Set 10 was there. All right, so guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Happy Halloween. Ciao, bye.